Um, what is the difference between Sunni and Shia, and why do Sunnis not consider Shia as true Muslims? I have heard that Shias have closer ties with Christianity. Is it true? So Sunnis and Shias are the two main sects of Islam, and they they do have some differences in uh, some theological differences and. Uh, some other differences down the road, differences in practice and so on. They have a lot of similarity as well. But the divide ultimately goes back to Muhammad dying without clearly appointing a successor. So some Muslims said that the successor and leadership should be sort of the, the, the best Muslim in the community. And they regarded uh, Abu Bakr as the man to go to here. So uh, many people sided with Abu Bakr, saying that Abu Bakr should be the leader after Muhammad. Um, but others said, no, it, it should be someone in the family of Muhammad. And so uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib had married Muhammad's daughter. And so um, the claim was that uh, Ali should be the next leader. And he, he was also related to Muhammad. Um, so that was the claim. And then so there were Muslims who rallied around Ali. And uh, very quickly they started killing each other. In fact, Aisha, who was Abu Bakr's daughter and Muhammad's child bride, eventually marched an army out against Ali, and they fought what's called the Battle of the, the Camel. And about 10,000 Muslims died in bloody combat. Muslims who had been uh, on both sides of that battle, who had been alongside Muhammad at the battles of uh, Badr and Uhud and so on. And so we see very early on Muslims just slaughtering each other over disagreements. And the reason this is this is disturbing is why would the first generation of Muslims just be fighting until they're almost annihilated, fighting each other, killing each other? And the reason is they'd had a they learned a pattern from Muhammad, and that pattern, according to Muhammad, is you solve problems with violence. And uh, another problem with that whole situation is that Muhammad said the the best generation of Muslims was the first generation. Well, the first generation of Muslims, which which Muhammad said is the best generation, almost annihilated itself through violence. And so if that's your model, if that's your model for conduct, a generation that almost annihilated itself with violence, it becomes very difficult for a Muslim today to say, hey, you know, Sunnis shouldn't be fighting Shias and Shias shouldn't be fighting Sunnis. What are you talking about? The best generation of Muslims did that. So, uh, so that's an ongoing problem. Uh, as far as Sunnis not considering Shias true Muslims, um, that's not, that's not universal. You'll, you'll find, you'll, you, you will find Sunnis who say that Shias aren't real Muslims, and you will find Shias who say Sunnis aren't real Muslims, uh, but you'll also find them saying, no, they are, they're, they're, mis, they're misguided in some way, but they are still true Muslims. And, uh, it's basically how seriously you interpret texts in the Quran, like chapter 33, verse 36, or chapter 4, verse 65, which command you to obey the, uh, commands of Muhammad and Allah, and if you don't, then you're not a real Muslim. So it becomes very easy for Muslim to say, hey, you're not following this or that command of Allah or Muhammad, and therefore you're not a real Muslim. So that, that becomes a basis for Muslims to accuse other Muslims of not being Muslims.